Hello everyone, this is Tom. Welcome back to Outdoors and Country Living. Um, we're in our basement, but what I want to do is an uh, educational review and just tell you my experiences with this food mill that we have. Um, we purchased this in 2014. We've used it for peanut butter, to make flour, to make cornmeal, and lots of other things. But typically what we do is we have our, our grains, our dry grains, we buy them in bulk and then we store them in buckets and we'll have buckets around. This is just an old wire spool that we put a top on and put some uh, uh, sealing on it. So, uh, you know, we just use dent corn. I buy the non-GMO and we store it so when times are tough we can still make uh, flour and corn meal and split peas and whatever else it is that we need. But anyways, back to this. This is a, a made in USA. I typically try to find things that are made in USA that are of quality. When you buy it, when I bought it, it came with a, a handle so you could turn it. And you turn by hand, and uh, it's got adjustable burrs or plates on it. I had the cover engraved with the family name. Um, but you put your grains in here, there's a cover to keep your hands out of it while it's running. So you would take your corn or your wheat, and you would pour it in the top, and then it would funnel down. And uh, depending on how you have this adjusted, you would have a, a coarse. Um, cornmeal or, or flour you can adjust the fineness of your flour or whatever it is that you're grinding so but again i want to i want to take it apart because I, I i'm a believer you need to kind of understand what it is and how it operates and another thing about this being made in usa is it has a lifetime warranty but i always me me and me and an engineer and i i buy spare parts so here's a the, uh, the shaft that goes through it you can see that it's on bearings it's not just bushings it's uh, got a keyway for the key that's on the drive wheel side, the flywheel. Um, it's made very well, it's all stainless. Here's a, a feed for the wheat, and this is for nuts, an extra auger I purchased. And then also I bought a spare set of burrs, which are the grinding wheels that go inside. Um, they have a lifetime warranty, but I just wanted them because I figured if in the event of something to where I would need it, uh, like a pandemic to where you can't get materials or supplies, right? I'm all set. So let me take this thing apart uh, and show you. There, There is a ball detent on this. Uh, this wheel is how you adjust your finest. It's engraved. It tells you, you know, to make it finer, you tighten it up. And what that does, it pushes the burrs closer together. So I'm going to take this off. This knob is machined aluminum. Um, you see the ball detent in it. And what locks it in is these little dimples that they machined in there. So as you tighten it, it locks it into position. So these burrs are, are tool steel or some kind of a stainless steel. Um, machined very well. Again, made in USA. Here's the auger that's on the inside for, for uh, the nuts. I'll take it out. You do corn and nuts with this, this bigger auger. They have a place to build on side the, the side of the stand um, where you can store your, your augers. So if I were doing weed, I would put that one in. If I were doing nuts or corn, I'd put this one in. And when you buy it, it comes with a book that tells you all that stuff. So to clean it, right, you would think that this is as far as you need to take it down to clean it. But this piece also comes off. So they made this to where it's, it's uh, grooved and comes right off. And then I just take a brush. If there's any residual grain, I can brush it out and uh, clean it up that way. Um, because this has bearings... Uh, you ideally you want about 60 rpms on your on your burr plate so you get a good flour so it doesn't heat it up and burn it um we cranked and cranked for a long time a couple of years you know it's again it's a nice piece hand crank it's made well enough that they also sell a uh, adapter kit to put a motor on so i put a three-quarter horse uh, marathon motor on it i wired in a switch i also wired in a couple extra plugs so if I make a mess, I can plug in a shop vac and clean this thing up. So, um, very good, very good quality. I like it, I recommend it. I'll do another video, uh, well, we'll do several videos of how you use it. We'll bake peanut butter, we'll grind flour, and uh, show you guys all that. So, it's made by a company called Grain Maker out of Montana. Um, I'll put their information in the, the video as well. I highly recommend it. I've never had a problem with it, and if I had to do over, I'd buy it again. So stay tuned, look for the videos on how we actually use this thing, and uh, I think you're gonna like it, all right? Thanks for your time, have a great day.